Mm. Hi, welcome to this Facebook live video. I'm trying to find a way where the light is quite okay. And um, I'm in Bali, and this is my um, feels a bit like my working home. I'm come here like in April. I was here and I wrote my whole book here, here and a bit in Portugal. Hi, Dieter. Thank you for watching. Um, and now I'm back because. Um, so the plan for this year with MoveIt was to launch one program that helps people to go to companies and to work a bit of a dream job by suddenly being responsible of like the health and well-being of two or three hundred people from one day to the other. But then um, we've been developing software for the last five years and an amazing project came and um, so a second program came and then the book came so a third program came so I'm actually here in Bali now and uh, I didn't sleep like last night because I like to play with my brain and so what I put in my head is like you know what I need to like have these crazy goals um, like let's say I need to make six weeks of a program with four videos per week if I just say well I need to do one week this week with four videos I won't be too urgent or feeling too much urgency to get it done. So what, is, what I do is I'm gonna make all of it in one week. So I put a, a goal that's almost unreachable. <laughs> and um, <laughs> it's, um, it's interesting what it does to the brain, adding, doing these goals that are almost unachievable. Because then I start cleaning up all the things I left out for weeks. <laughs> I start doing things I, everything not to do the big thing and then before I know I've done one week and then before I know I've done two weeks and I'm like oh I need to do six weeks and then if I think back about the big goal it's like whoa if I would have just put one week I wouldn't have probably achieved it but by putting such a big goal the small goals come so easily and for me that's the best way and this place here in Bali and this is Ubud maybe some people who are watching who know this place it's um it's an awesome co-working space actually I can show you around so there's a um, it's full moon this is really important um, I follow the moon not just for surfing but also for my energy so it's gonna be full moon Saturday I think so three days before full moon and three days after full moon because our body is like 90% water you know the tides go up and down with full moon I feel it like feel different I have a lot more energy and uh, I'm just looking if there's anyone here hi <laughs> and uh, oh, so there's some people working here and um, there's upstairs there's a quiet room this is the space to call there's some good food there's stocks every night like two nights ago I was just here finishing off some calls and then the founder of Gojek which is like as big as uber but in Asia we're just talking here like giving a speech like oh interesting <laughs> so um yeah i wanted to do this one this facebook live a bit about um getting from ideas to action for me action has always come quite easily so easily that sometimes like literally right now i'm thinking how did i end up in bali why am i here what am i doing here did i actually think that i'm i'm living here i am living here i've been here like over six months so i go in action so quick before i know it which is easy um, but I've studied the companies to see, um, ah, Yala told me, Sunday is full moon, awesome, awesome, I love the full moon. <laughs> um, so yeah, in companies, like, a lot of people, and also in the course that I'm teaching, are like, how do you get from an idea to action? And, um, yeah, by studying Tantra, which is about how people connect, how energy works, how orgasms work, um, I, I wrote about how an idea to an action is actually making a little bit of an orgasm so it needs some energy to have more energy to be set free and um, what I've seen in a lot of companies there's so many ideas so many people have good ideas for health and well-being but they don't have the time or the priority and the best way to go from an idea to an action is to, to take time and literally observe all the thoughts that are happening like I want to go uh, scuba diving now. Okay, where will I scuba dive? When will I scuba dive? How will I scuba dive? 
who's gonna come with me what will i feel what will i fear and once it's visualized then action comes spontaneously effortlessly when there's time enough to think about the idea in detail and to feel all the fears that come often with ideas um, action comes really spontaneously so in companies we help people who have an idea to really drill it down in all the small steps as if you'd be like wanting to start learning gymnastics and you'll do all the steps to learn a handstand for example it's exactly the same thing with any idea so fascinating i love it so uh yeah i just wanted to do my first facebook live and because i uh, like to set these big goals like i shared in the beginning of the video i didn't sleep last night you know like my brain is like stronger than me then and they like you need to get this goal you need to get this goal we're gonna keep you up so i worked all night and i got a lot of work done and i'm kind of still okay <laughs> my hair's a bit weird but i'm still okay so um yeah i'm doing all these facebook lives i have no idea if it's interesting for you if you can even understand me if the if the sound is good so um yeah let me know what uh, what topics are of your interest i always i love talking about motivation doing things creating healthy corporate cultures, creating healthy cities, connecting people, Tantra, nutrition, movement, yoga, um, so much more. I have a lot of passions. So um, yeah, and join me, and whoever's watching and who wants to come to Bali. This, this is the best place to work actually. It's maybe weird to come to Bali to work. You see all these beautiful islands, but um, this place is awesome. Like, um, I have to go into my next meeting, but um, yeah, I would love to have some. That's what I miss every time I come here. I, I make new friends. So I'd love to have some people I know already to join me on my travels. So it's going to be Bali this month, next month probably Bali or Australia, December, January, Belgium, and then I'm going to go off to Hawaii. So let me know if you're going in the similar direction and become a digital nomad with me. And we can build some community all around the world. So I'm going to go to my next meeting with someone from Portugal, which is really cool. I've been doing meetings with Turkey, India, Belgium, Portugal, can't remember, didn't sleep enough. <laughs> a lot of meetings today with a lot of countries. So I hope you're having an amazing day. And yeah, um, what I like to, what I learned from someone in Geneva, her coach would tell her every morning, there's gonna happen something very, very amazing, very awesome, very great today. So I wanna, everyone who's watching, there's gonna happen something very amazing and let me know what it was. So I'm gonna go in, cause I'm one minute late. <laughs> so see you all somewhere around the world and uh join me in a facebook live let's have some fun let's play with this technology of connecting people and uh see you soon bye bye